Number six, a bead with mass 1.8 times 10 to the minus 2 kilograms is moving along a wire in the positive direction of an x-axis, beginning at time t equals to zero, when the bead passes through x equals to zero with a speed 12 meters per second, a constant force acts on the bead. This figure here indicates the bead's position at this four times, t equals to 0, t 1, 2, and 3 seconds. The bead momentarily stops at t equals to 3 seconds. What is the kinetic energy of the bead at t equals to 10 seconds? So the, the, the force is constant, right? A constant force. So we can assume that the acceleration is constant as well. So the acceleration is constant. And if the acceleration is constant, we can use this equation, V equals to V0 plus AT. So let's analyze T equals to 0 to T equals to 3 seconds when the bead stops momentarily. So the final speed is 0, the initial speed is 12, the acceleration is what we want to know, and it has passed 3 seconds. Right? t equals to 3 seconds, so 3 over here. So we can isolate the acceleration, the acceleration is equal to minus 12 over 3, which gives us minus 4 meters per square second. So this is the acceleration of the bead, and using this equation we can find the speed at any time now. So we are going to find the speed when the clock uh, shows us 10 seconds, so let's use the, the same equation again, V equals to VO plus AT. Now we want to know the speed, the initial speed is 12 minus 4 times T at this time is 10 seconds. So we have that V equals to 12 minus 40, which gives, gives us minus 28 meters per second. So this is the speed when the clock shows us 10 seconds. Now we need to calculate the kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy is mv squared over 2. The mass is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 2. The speed we just calculated it's minus 28 divided by 2. So if you do this calculation over here, you would find 7.1 joules. And this is the answer of the exercise.